Another item that you might want to have is if we say an example, like if we've got a revised model coming through from us, we go back into our BIM Reader tool. I will open up the model or the file that I've just saved so you can see in my recent items I'll open up the actual save model that I've done so it actually remembers the last state I had the model in. What we can do an example is let's say a revised model comes into us. An example I know in this model and the revision I have is the wall area changes. As you can see, I've got a current total wall area 3,280 square meters and they're broken down by the different wall items. The 100 mil half hour rating wall is an example, there's 1,102 square meters of that. And again, if I wanted to display that only, I could hide everything else except that particular wall type in my model. So if you were to receive a revision of that model, very simply all we do is using the add revision tool, what I can do is I can come up here, select add revision, and that will allow me browse to where I have the revised model saved. So as we can see, I've got a revised one model of that DWFX file. So I'll select that, I'll choose my open button, and that will actually run down through the model isolating reading all the different new data that's in there and as you will notice is on the left hand side on our object tree we've got a list of different symbols there for ourselves i just make that a little bit bigger as you can see i've got light gray pencil marks i've got a plus symbol what that's indicating is the plus symbol is indicating that that's a brand new category being added to the model whereas the other ones with the pencils are showing me items that have been changed so if I could click on the walls an example you'll see now my quantity has changed to 3280 and if I expand that down you'll notice that that particular wall type has changed because there's a mark beside it and you can see now it's gone from 1102 down to 1074 and if we wanted to know exactly what wall was changed we can expand that uh, object item down and we can see as we scroll down through there's the exact wall there's the ID number of it where it's located the unconnected height so you can see exactly what's being changed so the software will auto identify every item that has had an amendment if it's been deleted it would be a, a, an X symbol so that will highlight everything for you and what that automatically does carrying the forward to the bill of quantities is if I was to close back out again I might save my changes and now when I return my quantity it won't insert multiple items what it'll do is it will insert and update items already there and as we can see the quantity for that item has changed from 1102 out to 108 1074 automatically so the software will live link it back to the model so as you use those quantities either on an estimate directly or you were to use it through the global sheet to pick off quantities in through using through an ARM bill of quantities because the model won't be formatted that way it'll link it directly to it so if the model changes the item will change which in turn the bill of quantities will automatically change for you